Hi, I'm Ross and I work on support. Today I will be showing you how to collect log and spool files that the support team require if you are having page analysis issues. This video is aimed at customers and resellers. I am using Papercut MF for this demonstration, but the same would apply for Papercut NG. At our heart is print tracking, but sometimes we get this wrong. For example, you print in colour, but Papercut MF detects it as grayscale, or you send a duplex print job, but we track it as simplex. The first thing to check is that Enable Advanced Printing Features is disabled. Select your print queue, go to Printer Properties, then Advanced, and untick the ticket box and apply. Disabling this option changes the way documents are rendered, and this can assist our job detection code. Once disabled, we suggest sending a test print job again to see if this has helped. If there is no difference, then we will need to collect files for the support team. Next, we will need to enable debug in the Papercut print provider. To do this, browse to the Papercut install folder, go to Providers, Print, Win, and then look for the debug hyphen enable file. Right click to run as administrator, OK any prompts, select Yes to enable debug. This will restart the services, press any key to clear the box. Next, we need to pause the print queue. Select the print queue and enable pause printing. Now we need to send a print job. For this we will use the Papercut admin interface. We will right click, select print and set up the print job as we need it. In this example, four copies with collate in color and duplex. Let's send the print job to the queue and it should appear in the queue as paused, like so. Next we are going to find the spool files of the print job we just sent. This can be found in C, Windows, System32, Spool, and the Printers folder. In here, you will see the two files we need. Make a copy of these somewhere local. Once we have the spool files, it's a good idea to rename them, especially if you are sending multiple page analysis issues. Rename the spool files with a description of what the print job was. Do this to both files. Next, we need to grab the Papercut Print Provider Locks. You can get these if you go to Providers, Print, Win, and here you will see File called Print Provider Log. Make a copy of this and put it in the same folder as the spool files. Next, zip them up and send them to support. Once that is done, we can disable debugging Papercut Print Provider by running the Disable Debug option. Again, as run as administrator. OK in the prompts, select Y for yes, and hit OK. That will restart the services and disable debug. Press any key to continue. When you send over the spool files and the debug logs, please also include as much detail as possible concerning the paper cut version, the operating system on the server and client, the brand and model of the printer, the driver name you are using, and most importantly, a link for us to download the driver as well. It's also useful to include a full description of the page analysis issue that you were seeing. Thank you.